Hey, what is going on, guys? Of course, my name is SMK. You can always just call me Steven. Welcome to the Logitech C922 Pro Stream webcam tutorial for the chroma key options. How to use a green screen. In my case, I got a green wall. It's the same thing, but it's just a little bit more crazy because it's a wall and it's green. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up a, a green screen uh, with the chroma key options in XSplit Broadcaster and in OBS Studio. So hopefully I can help you guys out and get you guys started as soon as possible. And of course, today's video is sponsored by Logitech. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the video. Let me tell you how to use chroma key in XSplit and in OBS Studio. Let's get it going. All right, guys, so we are in Exploit Broadcaster. Let me show you guys how to set up the green screen with the chroma key. So it's super duper simple. Obviously, to use a chroma key setup um, in Exploit and in OBS Studio, uh, you need to have, obviously, your green screen. I have a green wall. You can use uh, green fabric or you can use green construction paper. I've had huge rolls of construction paper, and I, like, tape it to my wall, and that worked great. Um, I don't have professional lighting. I use, uh, like, daylight light bulbs, like three bulbs to a lamp. And I just mount the lamps to you know different parts of the room to make the room light up and look good. Um, so you just have to mess with your lighting setup and your actual green screen setup to make sure that you can get the best, cleanest uh, image cut out as possible with your chroma key. So with everything, everything's all set up. Say you're all good to go. You right click on your C922, go to color instead of the camera settings. So go to, go, to, go, to, go to color, go to chroma key, click it. You should be good to go. Obviously, right now the camera is in 720p, 60 frames per second. So you guys can see a demonstration of how uh, 720p, 60 frames per second looks with actual, you know, 1080p, 60 frames per second gameplay. Um, so for the chroma key, typically this top number is going to be anywhere between like 20 to 30, and the bottom one you just kind of have to mess with uh, when it comes to your setup. You know, what may work for me may not work for you. So you just have to tinker with the settings and make sure everything's good to go. Um, but as you can see, super clean cutout. 60 frames per second, all good to go. You got some Call of Duty, um, Modern Warfare Remaster, and Xbox One. Uh, but you can see it's super duper smooth. Um, you know, the camera looks great. Uh, the green screen cutout looks super duper simple. It looks good. Everything's looking good. Um, just the biggest thing is you just have to have your green screen set up and the lighting all good. And then you just have to tinker with the camera in XSplit and you're good to go. And that's all you really got to do. Uh, it, it's very very simple so of course again just mess with the settings make sure your green screen is set up properly and have the correct lighting and then you're good to go so without further ado guys um let's head over to uh, obs studio and let me show you guys uh how to set it up in obs studio all right guys so we're in obs studio let me show you guys how to set up a chroma key with the c922 so you want to go in your just camera settings you right click you go to filters then you go to this plus sign right here go to chroma key and you can call whatever you want. Uh, what works best for me was the uh, settings right here was 470. Uh, smoothness was at one. And then the color spill was at one. Um, I don't know. It just worked good for me. That's what works best for me in my setup. Again, your lighting setup and your green screen setup is going to determine those types of settings in OBS Studio. Very similar uh, to XSplit Broadcaster. Uh, but so we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare on the Xbox One. Uh, as you can see, the chroma key looks great. Uh, we're in 60 frames per second. Everything's looking really crisp and clear and very smooth. I add you because the 60 frames is freaking awesome. Uh, if you guys want to see, here's the settings. Let me just double click and show you guys that we're at 720p, 60 frames per second. Again, if you're uh, broadcasting and or recording in OBS Studio, always go in your settings, go to your video settings to make sure that the settings are set for 60 frames per second with your video. Um, but there you go, man. It's all you need to do to set up um, the chroma key in OBS Studio. And you can see Call of Duty is looking pretty dang spiffy with, you know, the 60 frames per second webcam and the gameplay being at a high resolution itself. Um, but if you guys have any questions about how to set up the uh, chroma key um, in either XSplit and or in OBS Studio, of course, drop your comments down below in the comment section. And of course, if you guys want to learn how to set up the C922 and or how to learn uh, to use the Personify background replacement, those two topics will be in the description down below. There are separate videos for those. So make sure you watch those videos and understand more things about the Logitech C922. Um, but for right now, uh, I'm going to go get back to playing some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered because this game has been way too much fun because uh, this is one of my, my favorite Call of Duties besides World at War. But have yourselves an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully I helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.